Welcome to All Politics So Local Extra. Excellent. We're here with another week, and we have the, the honor of having uh, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. on for this week. Uh, he is, they, there's a lot of history that a lot of people just, that doesn't often get taught in schools. Uh, one of the things that always astounds me that people don't know, and I shouldn't really be astounded because I didn't really know until I went to college, right? And that's that the American government declared war on, on activists, like from Martin Luther King to Malcolm X to the Black Panthers. And they bugged them. They, they tried to get them to kill each other. And in the case of Fred Hampton, they actually killed him. Uh, there's a really good book called Agents of Repression. Uh, it's by Ward Churchill and Jim Vanderwall. That really goes over what COINTELPRO was and how they really went in uh, and tried to destroy the Black Panther Party. And it's not conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are things that aren't true, they're speculation. A lot of the stuff from Agents of Repression, a lot of what we know about COINTELPRO come from actual government documents. It comes from the Freedom of Information Act. It's actual American history that just never gets taught. And I think that's really important to remember. A lot of times you'll have conspiracy theories and people will talk about things theoretically or they'll just make stuff up. In the case of COINTELPRO, where the United States declared war on, on activists, right? From King to Malcolm X to the Black Panther Party. That's not a, a conspiracy theory. That's actually just American history. Uh, the, I'm going to show you the books uh, just so that we have like some level of grounding. Uh, and then after that, we're going to have a wonderful introduction uh, to uh, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. The first book is uh, The Agents of Oppression. Uh, the FBI's Secret War on the Black Panther Party and the American Indian Movement. I was introduced to this by a Black Panther, George Edwards, in my uh, freshman year of college. He, he looked a little paranoid. I didn't. I thought he was making it up. He was like, "No, no, read this, right?" And I was like, "Oh, it's all here." And I, I was, I was surprised because uh, they didn't teach that in school. The Zen Project is something that tries to teach history of people uh, and history as it actually happened. And they talk about uh, the assassination of Fred Hampton and how the FBI and the Chicago police murdered Black Panther. And the, the book is also an excellent book and a resource uh, written by the lawyer who actually sued uh, and won uh, and, and won in court based on wrongful death of Fred Hampton. So we have with us, we're honored, very honored to have with us today, Fred Hampton Jr. Uh, thank you for being here. Fred Hampton Jr. is uh, an activist in Chicago. He is an Anti, he is an he is, a, he is an anti-violence activist. He's been he speaks uh, to many people. He's done a lot of work in Chicago uh, on issues of decreasing violence, and uh, it's really an honor to have you uh, with us today. Right on, uh, Revolutionary. Appreciate you uh, having me on with you. Um, uh, uh, thank you. Thank the listeners and the people in general. I um, I don't know if you. Uh, we're going to go into it, but I, I, I was going to raise some, some points with clarity, like even some concerns. Oh, please do. Please do. Yeah. Um, the deal, the deal uh, we, we are, like, uh, two points that you had, you had made, um, about, like, like, I, I'm, I'm glad you, you know, like, addressed initially about this. Uh, one, how we, we hear terms about conspiracy theories, and you know what I'm saying? And, and um, we, are for, we, are, we, are, we are fortunate to have... Um, an organization that um, let, you know called contradictions out about you know said about the you know, the, the, the U.S. government attack you know saying uh, uh, surveillance attack and they were they were very they were they were, very, they were clear enough you know up front about that and a lot of times people it, it doesn't become uh, acknowledged into you know more safer forces or you know, or, 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 you know or, or, uh, people who, like the white community you know, says the fact in fact I, I'll quote. Of uh, David Walker, who wrote in the 1800s, and David Walker's appeal, the most intelligent of African descent can say something, and it becomes under doubt or suspicion. However, a white person from any walk of life, when they say it, is taken as a fact, and, and sometimes we have to suffice with you know some information coming from you know uh, you know other, other walks of life. But we are fortunate to have members of the Black Panther Party, we, as we you know what I'm saying, I think it's, especially this this client, this stage in the game, that we see the time, and. The deal, like even the the, the 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 second book you mentioned, I uh that's a, a um a, 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 it was actually um the lawyer the attorney for Chairman Fred's widow, James Montgomery. You know, saying the the, the the role he play, he played in a, in a legal room uh, arena, but it should be noted too that um uh, many of the 
people on the attorney scene, including that uh, Haas, their position, even right post assassination, was to you know let the, the, the uh, uh, don't tamper with the crime scene, so on and so forth. The Black Panther Party took a position. You no, know, we want the world to see what happened. It was, and in fact, it was that politicizing, that organizing, that 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 stance, that position, that in fact that up the ante. You know, what I'm saying you know, that, that exposed so many contradictions, you know, in particular that of the infamous Cointel for the counterintelligence program. And this is, a, a, I mean, this this a, 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 this uh, individual who had his own admission. I think he's seen Chairman Fred speak once before Chairman Fred assassinated. We have forces. We have, you know, the widow of Chairman Fred, who uh, was his comrade, was right there with, you know, saying covered down his body when he was assassinated. We have those of the Black Panther Party. So, you know, and I, some people say, well, when are y'all gonna write a book? And we say, well, we've been too busy making history to write history. We 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 we're in the process of addressing that though. But uh, there, there's, you know, in, in particular that uh, that that book, you know, where many people and so like in so many cases of our struggle, people have come in and they. Whitewashed, our, you know, our legacy. We, we, we got the we got the we got the we got the real deal. You know, the forces that's on, on deck telling the history of black a uh, chairman for the Black Panther Party. All right, uh, and, and thank you. All right, because like I, I think that with you, you provide a lot of clarity and a lot of that history, especially when you were talking about, uh, especially when you were talking about the uh, how the Black Panthers actually let people in to the actual scene. Yeah. And they let people into the scene because there was they made sure that uh, everyone could see what was actually happening. Yeah. Hey, hello. Yeah. Hello. I'm here. All right. So so we're gonna we want to get uh, this started. I think there's some static on your end. I got some static. I don't know. If it's, if it's that, that's on. Yeah. Yes. And well, no. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's still there. If you had headphones, it would actually make the. It, it easier because it's just like something yeah. typing that's over on your end. It's like we can hear typing. So if there's any noise or anything like that going on in your end, that's, no. that's we definitely hear it. Because when I and just so like technically when I muted you, then it yeah. went away. So I don't know, but it is definitely on your end and it's definitely on your computer end. So something is is going on with that that's creating the background sound. Um, well, Walking around now. All right, so it's good, or at least it's a little better. Um, but it's it's like no, it's it's back. But we can actually hear, uh, yeah. we can actually hear a, a lot of stuff that's going on in the background, and it's yeah, definitely yeah. from. No typing, no nothing going on here. Yeah, it, it, it could be the same. It could be the same counting count tell, tell, tell Maybe, maybe, because my computer is actually acting up right now. Uh, as well so my, my screen just blew up so that i'm so that it's uh not making as much sense so uh we'll let's continue the interview okay and uh and see what's going on and we can hopefully edit some of this out later um one, one more thing i can say there might be a that book that's the book that you mentioned uh, that's his friend, friend there may be a good book about jeffrey haas's life okay so in other words, a better book would be coming out. And, and that's and that's always important, right? A book. To actually write a, a your book. own history. A book. A book. A book. Was, that, that book. That book is a good book about, about, I don't know if he's, I don't even know if it's a good book about his life, but be, I mean, that could be about his life. Okay. But, so, 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 you know. but, that, but that's always important, right? Like when you're like, there's a book that needs to be written uh, and you need to yeah. be writing that book. I, I think, yeah. I think that becomes really important. Uh, yes, so what, we have right now. We see that there are protests that are going on all over the country. We see that there are there, there's you know a heated election that's coming up. We see that like there the the there are also threats of the federal government coming into uh, various cities around the country uh, in a very overt fashion. What do you think about all these things that are coming on in the news right now? Well, it's, it's, it's a climate that can be you know that can be assessed as. Uh, um proverbial uh the emperor has the emperor has no clothes um uh in fact it can be correlated to that of the, the uh era of, 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 of former u.s president uh richard richard Milhouse nixon and i'm saying that to say that these contradictions that uh, they don't saying about you know uh, the, uh, intensifying of law enforcement in the, in, the, in the communities and other dynamics they have they have all they have existed but have existed under what we refer to as an era of class peace now you, you see a, a official acknowledgement of terms like black identity extremists. You see 
uh, 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 official acknowledgement of bringing the federal troops into Chicago were actually, uh, I think, close to a decade ago, when uh, the FBI had actually said they had to bring two FBI headquarters to Chicago due to the corruption. So these are these are situations that you're know, that, that have, 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 you know saying have been occurring. But the, the bad but good thing about it is more of an official acknowledgement because one of the disadvantages we have in our community is it's a non-acknowledged war. In other words, we, we're deprived of acknowledging the using terms like political prisoners. Though we have political prisoners, we're deprived of using terms like um, uh, 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 concentration camps. Though we have the influence Cook County Jail, we also run in Chicago, right in Chicago. So these realities have been existing, but now we're in the stage of the game where you, where you see people are, are actually using these official political, or better yet, or, 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 these war terms. So it's like, like the, find, you're talking about like the black sites that were in Chicago. Correct. Uh, you, correct. Uh, and which previously operated under such euphemisms, they referred to them as whoopee stations. Now it, it, it was exposed about the black sites in Holman Square. I, well, don't, for the benefit of those who may not be familiar with the black sites, these are places where the, the police themselves admit that there's no protocol acknowledged the police. In other words, no badge, badge numbers are revealed, no um, saying that you can get a, a phone call to your attorney, uh, uh, law enforcement pulls up a ski mask, jump out on vans and just take people uh, and, and disappear. So it became a big thing after a young man uh, from the white community was kidnapped, you know, and, you know saying taken to the uh, uh, home and square to black sites. However, you look back at the 19, around the era, time of 1996, there were entire, entire sections of uh, some of the street tribes of the formerly known gangster disciples, they'd be known as growth and development, that were snatched up and have not been seen since then. So hmm. these, again, these contradictions have been happening, but not in a, not acknowledged in official capacity. So there, so one of the things to think of in terms of the news that's going on right now, and especially given the news now and the news and, and the stuff that has been happening is that we're saying the feds are coming into Chicago, but what you're saying is the feds have been here for a while. Uh, and not only have they been here for a while, like the other police tactics from non-federal, like from state, from, from, the, uh, from the actual Chicago police have been acting in ways that would make you think that, it's that, that it is repressive, right? Because when, you, when you're taken and when you don't have your rights read to you and that you are disappeared, because what you're saying is that these black sites that existed were functionally disappearing, right? Like people would just disappear and then be seen again, right? Or disappear, then be, get confessions and then be, reappear at some other time uh, later, the things that they actually acknowledged. Uh, hold on one second. Yes. Yes? Correct. Yes. In, in many cases, not, not TV, not, there are some people who we, know, we have not seen since. We've not seen, we've not seen again. Hmm. And and so and so you're saying that this has been going on based on the work that you've done uh, in Chicago. The, the question that I have is, uh, what is some of the work that you've been doing in Chicago? What are some of the things that led you to do the activist work that you did? Because right now, you it seems like there are a lot of things that are going on in the world. But what are the things that actually made you start to want to deal with those? The uh, organization that I'm honored to chair, the Black Panther Party Cubs, was centralized right here in Chicago, which is infamously referred to as Chirac. And a lot of people have an issue with that term. However, our position is that uh, it's done by the, 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 it can be correlated to uh, whether you're talking about the, the, um, the contractors in Afghanistan, in Africa, and the Philippines, to the foreign merchants right here in the city of Chicago, the, uh, the police SUVs that come through Inglewood, North Lawndale, and the colonized community, to that of the army tanks abroad. We, uh, our, the Black Panther Party Cubs, we've been we've been on the ground for quite some time, addressing the issues in the, such as in the infamous Cook County Jail, uh, exposing how the cases of seventeen year old young ladies are forced to rinse out their sanitary napkins for reuse, exposing the Pontiac, Illinois prison, how prisoners are forced to go on visits with uh, black net mask over their face, rubber grill over the mouthpiece, uh, the, the, the continuous cases of police terrorism, uh, the infamous uh, Lieutenant John Burge, and not doing it. Uh, in a subjective, reactionary type of way, connect the whole machinery of it, and this is important because the, uh, the Chicago is a microcosm of, of this whole, of, of this entire country. Um, and even uh, 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 addressing what many people have uh, a lot of reactionary response about, what they refer to as the black on black crime, exposing different, the various dynamics, such as you know, saying the, the cartels connection right here in the city of Chicago. Why, why 
the movie El Chapo was not even allowed to be played in Chicago. You know, it's similar to the, the how the former director of FBI J. Edgar Hoover denied that the, the mafioso even existed. Why? Because they were complicit. In fact, they were on the payroll. You know, saying, uh, for the U.S. government, Luciano was not lucky. He was he was he was, he was, he was an international representative, a worker for the government. And we see these similar dynamics going down in the city of Chicago. You know, saying again, which is a microcosm of what's happening throughout the country, throughout the country, throughout the world. Better yet, um, the various propaganda bombs. You know, what I'm saying many people call it the, the, the music. You know, what I'm saying that's intentionally, strategically uh, dropping on these children. You know, what I'm saying at a, at a certain time in the morning, a certain time. You know, excuse me, all throughout the day, all throughout the night, exposing the uh, the role of uh, Norfolk Railroad. How you know, what I'm saying on like, like on a weekly basis. You know, these automatic weapons are literally you know, what I'm saying dropped up into these children's hands. So this this is done by design, and we take a um unpopular position. You know, what I'm saying to call you know, what I'm saying not just just go to take a safe. Uh, subjective uh, or, or, or position say was well, black on black crime, exposing the various the, the various dynamics that's responsible for you know saying the, the, we're talking about the, uh, the shootings that happened up there on on the Gold Coast today or right on Fifty First asking asking about thirty minutes ago, you know saying to that was you know saying the infamous Woodlawn experiments that were occurring right in the city of Chicago back that, that was it, 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 it was kind of similar to what the role that the Belgian and French did in Rwanda, you know saying. Exploring class contradictions between the Hutus and Tutsis, and but many people think it was just a black on black crime negating the role of the imperialists. We are saying so to must each other, exposing the role of University of Chicago, Sears and Roebuck, First National Bank, Rockefeller Foundation, these various entities who pull the strings and the, and the actual benefactors of the blood, sweat, and tears of, 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 of black children, in particular, and colonized, and colonized people in general. that comes from this, right? Like you you have a, a lot of background. There's a lot of knowledge base that you have. How did you get that knowledge base? I did I, 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 I hit the, the latter part of your, your question. How did you get the knowledge base? Right. So how did, how did you get the knowledge base to come to the conclusions that you did? Theory and practice. Uh the, uh, the Black Panther Party Cubs. Our position is that we this, which is the organization that's carrying the legacy of the Black Panther Party. We say it's a tough act to follow. We try our best. We say we don't walk in the footsteps. We walk in the Panther Paul steps. We study. We study. We study. Uh, we have a, a template of an organization of a representative, the actual author of the Rainbow Coalition, Chairman Fred, who was in the most segregated city of, you know, say, uh, uh, in, the, in the country, was able to win uh, people with various points of unity. Um, and, and not just do it in, in, uh, in, in the uh, limited to the compound of Chicago, but was able to you know, say, relate to, to, to democratic centralism, uh, democratic centralism, uh, leadership of a uh, 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 visionary minister, UEP New, you know, the uh, 10 point platform, and the, the correlate what's going on in our communities on an international level. So, that, 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 so we, we, we are with their politics again, and it's not just theory, not just, not just reading books. We you know, say, in fact, we say, you know, so, uh, we, tell, we tell theory, we, we, we wed, excuse me, we wed theory and practice together. But the, the question is also like, you're talking about what the Black Panther Party does. When you grew up, like, what are some of the things that like, got you involved? Were you just automatic, people told you about your father, you automatically got involved? Like, you could have, you just, you could have made a lot of decisions. Why did you make the decision to be involved in the way that you got involved? Well, good, good question. I, you know, I, I definitely not, didn't grow up romanticizing, you know, in the, uh, the Black Panther Party. I didn't grow up, you know, saying I can't wait till I get older to, you know, send, um, uh, go to Menara Penitentiary as Chairman Fred was in 1969. I look forward to assassination attempts. Uh, however, um, face was face was conditioned. The fact, uh, as, the, as the old axiom goes, only the names are changed. And the city of Chicago, in many cases, the names are not changed. You know, so. You, I mean, for example, you know, one of the one, one of the cases, one of the trumped up cases, I was I was even issued. Um, it was a Sergeant Joseph P. Krubazek, who was, was, was uh, gathered all of the various law enforcement agencies together, you know, to give me a case in which I subsequently served nine years for. And they come to find out, going through old Black Panther Party newspapers, he was involved in the surveillance and the subsequent assassination of Chairman Fred Hampton Senior. So, the, so faces so many of these similar contradictions, you know. So, uh, again, and, and recognizing that. Uh, it, to come with anything less, to come with anything less than armed with the politics of the Black Panther Party, it's like bringing the knife to a gunfighter. Better yet, you know what I'm saying, coming unarmed. 
to go fight. And so, like, and part of what I want to get to is what is some of the like what are some of your earliest memories of when you wanted to get involved? Like, as in, you 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 did have a lot of choices, but, you're, but what I want you to get into is when you like how does someone how how did you start to go like hey this is the worldview that I need to look at this is the level of uh of of black nationalism or I need to jump, be a black panther crab or like how did that even come about? I like so I like so many others with, with you know what I'm saying with, with with the pride. In fact, I, 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 in fact, uh, when I spoke at the um, we had a, like a community repast for the uh, service of uh, Stanley Tookie Williams, co-founder of the Crips, and I had said something to the effect that Tookie Williams had grew up in the climate like I grew up in, um, deprived of such organization, the Black Panther Party, where the only options that you were given in life was to become a Boy Scout or a banker. Um, so, so uh, you know we. We seen after the military defeat and the Black Panther Party, you uh, uh, era of class peace. You know, saying uh, and, and so many revisions of history, whether it be through you know um, unauthorized books, people you know saying people coming out from the tailgate party, you know saying speaking like they were actually in, in, saying, in the huddle for the for the football game. So we went through a, a long a, 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 a era of class peace where there was a lot of misinformation put out, a lack of information. In fact, I recall being you know being suspended from you know, school a couple just for even mentioning Chairman Free. I recall. You know, I mean, just so much, you know, like the, the, even the fear factor of people not even to talk about, you know, so who Chairman Fred and the Black Panther Party, <laughs> Black Panther Party was. So that that the, the, there, there was there was a vacuum, you know, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 it, and it just didn't happen. There was a the way that Chairman Fred was assassinated, the way that Defense Captain Mar Clark was assassinated, the way that um, Asada Shakur was forced into political exile. You know, what I'm saying so there were different dynamics. You know, what I'm saying that, that that were laid out. What happened to our struggles? Um, and when and, 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 and when given an opportunity, the time and you know, you know, and I always had a a basic love and admiration for Chairman Fred and the Black Panther Party. You know, so I, you know, I I recall you know just you know even writing about them, you know, saying in elementary school. But I, again, I was I was deprived of that organ. In fact, it's a cool at Jerry, former you know, Deborah Johnson. She said about you know regards to Tupac, Tupac Shakur, Tupac needed organization. The organization needed Tupac, and so you know, and I. And I hold on to that. that you know, I, I feel fortunate to, you know, saying represent an organization that, you know, saying that attempts again to walk, you know, saying walking the, the Paul steps, the Panther Paul steps, one of the most revolutionary organizations we've yet to see. Now, so you're saying that when you when you started, there was no organization, right? Like the organization Black Panther Cubs did not exist, and you had <laughs> certain choices, right? Uh, but the question is, how did that? How did the organization begin? Well, uh, uh, we you I, we are in sometimes uh, uh, you see uh, the different you you'll see us in a, uh, interchange where Black Panther Party Cubs and also that of the uh, Prisoners of Conscience Committee. The Prisoners of Conscience Committee were, uh, was uh, was actually birthed behind enemy lines. In other words, inside the prisons, inside the concentration camps, and you, um, and uh, this in our position that we're not. Um, this this kind of, this goes back into the case the, the, the case I, I was um, issued subsequently since since for eighteen years, but prior to me being locked up, I had a basic a, a basic love for the people basically you know uh, um, you know say want to be involved you know say involved in the struggle, but again there was so many dynamics that were deprived that, that the community was deprived of, and that conversation the, the conversation was. Um, was the, the, the conversation was, was again was intentionally there were so many organizations that were that were that were propelled or put in position to, to to further confuse the people about their legacy of the Black Panther Party. Right. So those organizations existed. So when so what you did is you went inside the like what what made you go inside the prison? Like you just woke up one day and was like, hey, I want to form a Black Panther Club. Like. Well, how did it happen? Well, first, well, first, no, first of all, I didn't. I didn't go inside the prison. They, 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 they kidnapped me. They first of all, let me be clear on that. They kidnapped me, right? Um, because of my, you know, what I'm saying okay, uh, because of my organizing, pride, you know, saying pride of me being locked up. Um, but the, the, the uh, I think the, the, the um, I got, I got to give, I got to, I, 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 I'm gonna make sure I see this the correct way too. Um, you got to get, I got, I got to acknowledge the state too. I mean, their conditions, their, their, their contradiction also helped me you know, give, give me involved in political life. 
Uh, in fact, as Minister UEP News said, that contradictions are the rule of principle of the universe. So it's important to just include that also. It's not just it wasn't. It's not just some, you know, uh, hope you know, say you want to do the right thing. You want to be involved in the movement, so on and so forth. The con the, the conditions also it's, 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 it's a a necessary ingredient. Also, they, they, they help. They, 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 they help. They, they help give life, give birth. You know what I'm saying? To, to organize it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely got to acknowledge that also. I, I, I want to be careful how I say that because I'm not a, a masochist. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't look forward to being, we don't, I, I don't, you know, thrive with being oppressed. But the, the conditions also, I, I have to acknowledge that. We have to acknowledge that. Okay. So, so really what, what happened is that you, there, there were conditions within the community where there was an economic opportunity. You made some certain decisions that, that got you placed in places where they place lots of our people, right? Like when the, the like you were, as you say, you were kidnapped, put in prison. And so what happened after that, like you're you're in there and you're like the conditions, what what happened? Like you woke up, you the conditions were so bad, and then you were like, I gotta do something else. What was tell me something about that moment. Hold on, I gotta put your mic on. All right. Tell us about that moment. Well, let me let me let, let's, 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 let me be clear. I don't want to I don't want to um, minimize um, my you know my my engagement in political life to just this, you know uh, uh, what, what was the aha moment uh, to put the I think it's important that I mean because again many people we like that, that's, we want we want a, a quick fix or a microwave meal. There are certain. I think we, we put things like I think it's important to put in context, even right. prior to the. You know, you know, see the, the, uh, not not saying I'm talking about the conditions, not just me. And I, I think it's important even how we talk about prison. You know, saying not just um, I, I wasn't. You know, uh, I, I I didn't just go there. I was kidnapped. I was taken there. Um, the whole the, the, and also even when we talk about my decisions. I think we should also say that uh, in my not say my our people. In any decision that we make, our decisions are made under, under duress. You know what I'm saying, and and that 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 to hear about to have somewhere, I you know I, 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 I tell people they talk about Malcolm X. I say it's important that you also you put in context him, him as a child. Him, you know what I'm saying, him seeing his, uh, uh, his his father who you know what I'm saying was a, was a Gavite. You know what I'm saying, the, the impact and, and again uh, even the, the, the like the subconscious and the conscious is, is something else. You know J James Evans, who played the, 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 one of the few male man black man men figures we we've seen on, on TV, who played Father in Good Times. His grandparents' home was a layover for the Gaviites. He was impacted by that. I was I was impacted. You know what I'm saying? By you know what I'm saying? By, you, you know what I'm saying? Different that you know what I'm saying? I was impacted before I got here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when the Chicago police came in under the direction of the federal government, December the fourth, nineteen sixty nine, my birth certificate was all almost my death certificate. You know what I'm saying? My my maternity, my, my first prenatal care that I ever received, as opposed to a doctor's stethoscope, was a Chicago Police Department's revolver placed in my mother's eight and a half month pregnant belly. So you know, you know what I'm saying? So all so these dynamics must be put in So there are certain dynamics that happened to me, me before then, and I and even before I physically got here. And so that that's so when we talk about struggle and people engage in struggle. There's so many different dynamics, you know what I'm saying? And there's not people that even, uh, uh, I don't even have a frame of reference of seeing us, oh, oh this is the Black Panther Party. Their first con concept of struggle, you know what I'm saying, or, or how change happens is through, you know, it's limited to that of electoral politics, so on and so forth. So when you talk about, I, when people say, well, why, what made you do this? They, you know, so they may have a, a subjective response, like it's something they did, like, well, this person decided to sell drugs, like they just upped on their own and went to, you know what I'm saying, got this heroin, got this cocaine, no. You have, you have to put the, put that uh, you say that like even even I mentioned the cartel earlier in Chicago. I, like, I'm not it's, it's not a racist uh, assessment. You, it can be tied. You had to talk about the, the, the NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, under the tenure of William Jefferson Clinton, a former U.S. president William Jefferson Clinton. That people say, oh, that was a long time ago. No, politics transcends geographical, gender, and generational lines. So these dynamics, you know, what I'm saying even if even if it's seeds planted. They, 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 you know, saying we see, you know, saying they, they, they're probably blade on, like, like, like even right now, people say, "Oh, this is, Trump is doing this and that." Trump say the, the policies, whether you're talking about the detainees and the, the, uh, the immigration center, he say these these are policies that he's enacting that are uh, they, they don't say that uh, seeds are being planted prior to him getting in there. He's able to utilize. So I'm I'm, I'm trying to say that ain't no ain't no cliff notes in, our, in, 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 in the in the Black Panther Party Club class. 
So I'm, I, I, all these different, you know, play the impact. I'm, 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 not trying, I'm not trying to be vague, but all these different dynamics. And I'm saying this because I, I don't know how many other people that's in our community that have to be able to grasp to understand this. You know what I'm saying? I talk about this. It's, it's, a, it's a brother in the, in, uh, who, uh, uh, the, the, in the community uh, named, known as uh, Big Law. Uh, I met him when I was locked up. And he, was, he always, he was a go-getter. He had a backbone. But with the politics, he was one of certain points of unity. And even to the point that the Chicago Sun-Times, you can Google it. They referenced him. They say Lawrence, Lawrence Lee. They say he was assassinated. Because you know, that's the the politics is able to put him put him in the correct context, and the deal is in our our communities, is so like, you know, it's the pride we, they, 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 we don't call they don't it's not called propaganda bombs, but we've been having propaganda bombs, and so you know, so so other communities say they probably they, they call it music in our communities. They, people say uh, concentration camp. We don't we don't have concentration camp. No, you why Obama, president, former U.S. President Obama. He acknowledged the political significance of turkeys being pardoned around Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? He acknowledged the political about uh, by other communities have political prisoners. Not only were we not there was no immunity. Now he, that does something. I know some people that say they got out because of certain that said Obama gave, but it was not acknowledged in the context of political prisoners. So I'm, I we're struggling. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when I say me, this is this this is this is similar to what I say about when I say Chairman Fred been assassinated. They not only did they assassinate my father, they attempt to assassinate and take out all of our fathers, all of our mothers, by locking them up, shooting them down, punking them out, stringing them out, or, or, or something. So when we have the opportunity to politicize this and lay it out, people say, man, I, this was said to me back. I could have got involved in this. You know what I'm saying? I, and I thought you just came out, uh, the store dropped the egg, you popped up at the egg, you said, ah, oh, I'm going to become a revolutionary. No. There was a certain the, 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 the climate had to be conducive. You know what I'm saying? There were certain individuals that impacted my life. I had to have some frame of reference, a legacy, a legacy to go back and look and say, "Whoa, wait a minute! You mean to tell me this? You know, so you mean to tell me these cats was basically ranged from ages 14 to 24 years old, starting the first free breakfast program? Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me that you know what I'm saying that you cut the public schools and started free lunches? You mean to tell me that it was not Reverend Jesse Jackson that started the organized Rainbow Coalition? You telling me that you know what I'm saying this this uh, 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 deputy minister of health Doc Satchel, you know what I'm before you came deputy minister of health was on, on a college campus, sacrificed, heard Chairman Fred speak, came and committed to the day that people in Vietnam to this day acknowledge the deputy minister of health Doc, Doc Satchel. You mean to tell me Spurgeon Jake Winters, a valedictorian in the school? You said sacrifice, get up, you said join the Black Panther Party. So that, that all, that's even the conversation to hear about that, which we which we, we were deprived of when people said, no, these are the only talk about black history. We're going to give you Michael George, we're going to give you Dr. King. That's it, that's all. I I was fortunate, you know what I'm saying, to be able to just say, even though certain periods of time, they, they had to go, that conversation had to be dormant. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, that, like, like, like in the movie Planet X, the Ranger Tank told you, say, man, be cool. Don't talk. They don't like no small monkey. They don't like no small, no small gorillas. So there was certain periods. You know what I'm saying? People can even talk about this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, right now, when the climate again, when I said earlier, the emperor has no clothes on. That we seize the time up front. You know what I'm saying? Say, oh no, we ain't gotta go for no coded words saying uh, this great white hope. You know what I'm saying? Wrote this. You know what I'm saying? This, oh, this bogus book. You know what I'm saying? He just popped up. You heard Chairman Fred speak one time. That's how I saved it. No. You you, you you talking about you talking Chairman Fred, who could have been a lawyer himself, could have could have faded him, gave sacrifice, gave, you know gave, gave, it, gave it up, you know what I'm saying, and led the largest chapter of Black Panther Party. So you know, we that we so so we that we leave an imprint, not a dent, a imp, that we leave a stain in their brain, a mark in their heart to the point that even down the road somebody can say, man, what made you get about it? They say, man, I, don't know, I heard I heard it somewhere, you know, so maybe I heard it on on, on this brother's a radio show. It's something. That told me no. It's some example that we stood up and fought on our own terms. That's how I got to be who I am. You, you, when you talk about the athlete, they say, "Man, Mike Tyson." Say he remember when he was in the the uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the juvenile detention. He remember Muhammad Ali coming by there and talking to him. That stuck, that that impacted him. You said, "Don't he?" Don't then you, you say, "Well, he didn't get to really meet Ali." The different that, at certain stages in life, the, the, those develop the, those those pores are open. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's, what we, that's what we mean when we say seize the time. Seize the time. Hmm. So, like, uh, thank you so much for that. And we are we are getting ready to uh, to end this. I mean, we, we always, it's only half an hour and it's always way too short. But I'd like to end it with you talking about what is your advice 
for people who are organizing, like you're organizing right now, what is the advice that you would get for or other organizers around the country? Other people who want to make a difference. Meet people where they at. You know, so meet, meet people where they at and uh, structure. I'm going to say that. Structure. That's something that I used to take, I took for granted people understood. You know what I'm saying? Without structure, we did. One of America's policies is to create chaos and then restore order. That's whether we're talking about Afghanistan, Africa, Chirac, one of their first their policies is to create chaos and re, re, they destroy all, all the structure and they say, okay, now here's your leader. Here's your entertainer. Here's your favorite football player. Here's your wife. Here's your mistress. They, the, the, the structure, you know what I'm saying? Structure is so important. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people have an issue with structure because their first concept of structure comes from the state. Army, Navy, school, you know what I'm saying? The, I, when, I was, when I was in Ireland talking to Bernadette Devlin, she said she recalls the dead minister of health, Doc Satchel. She recalls Jim Fur. It's not no egotistical way. It's a structure of checks and balances. And without structure, we did. Hmm. So thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for, you. for coming out. And thank you so much for being here. Uh, very much appreciated. And what we, uh, we like always, our, our time is, is always too short. And we're definitely going to want to have you back again. Uh, to, to have more conversations and, and even talk about some of the activism that you do uh, on a daily basis out in Chicago. So thank you very much. August 30th, August 30th, say the Hampton, say the Hampton House, the house of Chairman Fred grew up in, Chairman Fred birthday, August 30th, again. Y'all come to go Google, say the Hampton House. Say the, say the Hampton House. All right, so you can tell us a little bit about that. What's this What's this on August 30th, Save the Hampton this, House? August 30th is the, the annual Chairman Fred's Peace Party. We gonna say we take this gonna be people from all over the world coming in. We do it every August thirtieth. We gonna have, you ain't gotta set up for no 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 gossip no break. You gonna have you gonna have people that was there when the assassination occurred. You have his wife, you have the family, you have Panther Party members there telling you what occurred, what's going down right now, right in front of Ground Zero. No, 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 don't don't don't. I know your people for our tickets go to New York. I'm to my west side of Chicago, twenty three thirty seven West Monroe, aka Chairman Fred Hampton Way, twelve o'clock high noon. Then we go into the wall. I ain't talking about the China. I'm talking about Madison, California. Then we come into the house that Chairman Fred grew up in, that, that, that they tried to salt the earth. They tried to turn it into a dope house. We have cleaned it out. We got the same house, Hampton House Community Garden. We, do a, we turn it into a museum. You know, so if you can support that, like going to GoFundMe.com forward slash Save the Hampton House 50 or, or, or Cash App Save the Hampton House. You know, we, we're making history, taking history, taking history. August 30th, you know, so we're going to be deep right there at Ground Zero, 2337 West. Chairman Fred have to wait. Chicago in the north. All right, thank thank you so much again. Uh, thank you for coming out. Thank you for your time. Very much, very much appreciated. Uh, we know you have a lot of different speaking engagement, engagements, so we definitely appreciate that you gave us this time. Thank you. All right, take care. You too, Ralph.